This is a photo of the Bhabha Atomic Research Center or BARC taken by a US satellite in 1966, 12 years after the facility was set up in Trombay near Mumbai. By the time this picture was taken, India was in the process of making its own nuclear reactor and power plant. The setting up of BARC set the ball rolling on India's nuclear program, a program that was so efficient and so ambitious that within two decades in 1974, India conducted its first successful nuclear test at Pokhran. It made India the first confirmed nuclear nation outside the five permanent members of the United Nations Security Council. It was not just its tremendous military potential, but also the socio-economic benefits of nuclear energy that led India to set up an atomic facility. And it was all thanks to a young, visionary physicist called Homi Jahangir Bhabha. When Bhabha was studying for his PhD in physics at Cambridge University in the 1930s, he had visited some of the most advanced laboratories in Europe. He had also met scientists who went on to play an important role in the Manhattan Project, which led to America making its first atomic bombs during the Second World War. Later, in 1944, Bhabha, then a professor at the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore, wrote to the Sir Dorabji Tata Trust, drawing attention to the need for an institute in India where original research in mathematics and the sciences could be conducted. There is at the moment in India no big school of research in the fundamental problems of physics, both theoretical and experimental. There are, however, scattered all over India competent workers who are not doing as good work as they would if brought together in one place under proper direction. Bhabha further stressed the need for indigenous development of scientific resources and training for India's benefit. When nuclear energy has been successfully applied for power production in say a couple of decades from now, India will not have to look abroad for its experts but will find them ready at hand. Bhabha's call was answered and the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research was set up in 1945. In a few years, TIFR was designated to be the centre for all large-scale projects in nuclear research. But Bhava realized that TIFR would not be able to accommodate research infrastructure in multiple fields and that technology development for the atomic energy program needed a laboratory devoted to this purpose. He raised this with his close friend who was also the Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. Nehru's thoughts aligned with Bhabha's that science was important for a modern state. This was a time when atomic energy was at the frontier of science and both men realized that it was crucial for India to be self-reliant in the fields of nuclear science and engineering. Thus, the government of India acquired 1200 acres of land at Trombay and set up the atomic energy establishment on the 3rd of January 1954. This was renamed the Bhabha Atomic Research Center or BARC in 1967 following Bhabha's untimely death in a plane crash. A complex full of laboratories, reactors and processing plants were built here. All scientists and engineers engaged in the fields of reactor designing and development instrumentation, metallurgy and material science were transferred with their respective programs from TIFR to BARC. With TIFR retaining its original focus on fundamental research in the sciences. BARC brought India into the nuclear age and since its beginnings in 1954, India's premier nuclear research facility has gone on to do groundbreaking work. 
from indigenously developing nuclear reactors for electricity generation to the application of radiation in agriculture and medicine to computer modeling, BARC continues to be a jewel of Indian science. Thank you.